Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. And in the last episode, we explored this route, and now in this episode, we're gonna check out a stone monument that's here. And look who's here! Ah, Donnie! It's good to see you! Without uh, any further ado, I would like you to examine this stone tablet. Something just like it also discovered in the Kanto region. I want Aunt to ask for your help in solving the mystery behind it. I tried deciphering the stone tablet's engravings. The tablet appears to record the thoughts of the trainers who have grown through their adventures. The description is certainly applies to you. That's why I'm asking for your help. I met various is people and Pokemon, and those numerous is experiences have sharped you into who, who, who you are. I want you to sincerely consider who affected you the most among your journey. Tell me, to whom do you want to express your thanks? So who do I want to express my thanks? Well, I want to express my thanks... ...to my ragtags. Hmm, you want to express your thanks to ragtags? You're absolutely certain of it! Oh, was that a Pokemon? Uh, is it somehow connected to the stone tablet? Hmm, where did that Pokemon go? Its destination sure is intriguing. So yeah, Oak will be here if you have the Oak's letter item, which I was smart enough to save on this profile. Oh, file when this game was first uh, released, when the, when the item was being given out a mystery gift. So now let's follow that Pokemon down the sea break path. And this is a long path. Like this is me on a bike. You can see many beautiful flowers, but this path is long. And now we have reached the flower paradise. Where the Pokemon awaits, and if you're wondering, the Flower of Paradise is way over here. A speck of an island far away from any civilization, it is covered in abundance of flowers. This was the sea break path, it is long. Also, I forgot to show, this is where New Moon Island is. Anyway, I want to go to my boxes. So I want to get a low level Pokemon. Let me see what's decently low leveled. Uh, you are. Yeah, I'll use you. Do you want a low level Pokemon for this? Go up to the Pokemon. Time to take on the mythical Pokemon Shaman. Shaman will be at level 30, which is a problem because the majority of your Pokemon that you use on your team will likely be in the 60s to 70s. Here's by the time you have access to this mystery gift. Or at least this event if you have the mystery gift item. Anyway, it has it is a pure grass type with the ability natural cure. With the moves, growth, magical leaf, leaf seed, and synthesis. This shaman is annoying because it has ways to heal off the damage you do to it. Uh, 
Uh, how much damage will Icy Wind do? Ooh, that's concerning. Oh, granted, got a leash seat out. Now it's going to start healing. Did it just undo the damage I dealt to it? And now it's completely undone the damage! I hate that not only is Shaman so low level, but because it has Leaf Seed and Synthesis on top of that, it's just always going to heal, no matter what. And it annoys me so much. Because there's nothing else that I can do to it, because all my Pokemon are so high level, they'll KO it. And now Shaman is completely healed. Attack Rose. I almost healed off the damage I dealt to it. Oh my god, Shaman, you're gonna be so annoying. At this rate, I gotta start throwing Pokeballs at it with full health, and it's gonna be so annoying. Oh, this is going to take a while. Because even though the Shaman is pretty defensive in its land form, it's not going to survive an attack from a level 70 Pokemon. Yeah, I'm just going to have to throw balls and just hope I catch it. Two, three. Oh, come on, Shaman! Why pretend to be nice just to not be nice? Well, let's send to Igrasil because I believe Leaf Seed cannot work on Grass type Pokemon. Free. And we caught it. Bye. 
Shamu will be added to the Pokedex. It can dissolve toxins in the air, in air to instantly transform ruined land into a lush field of flowers. I want to add it to my party temporarily. Yeah, so we've caught Shaman in this beautiful flea field of flowers. After catching Shaman, you want to head to Flomoroma Town. You want to speak to, I believe it's this woman right here. Oh, a Shaman! If you have that Pokemon, then you also should have the Gracidia flowers. I got a whole bunch, so you can have some. She'll give you a Gracidia. Gracidia flowers have been around a long time in this region. They give us bouquets to express feelings of gratitude. Isn't that charming? With these Gracidia flowers, you don't need to say thanks with words. You can instead demonstrate your gratitude with a bouquet. How nice. So she gave us the Gracidia. So if we use it on Shaman. Shaman will transform. Into its sky form, which looks so much cooler. I love sky form Shaman, or Skyman some people nickname it. But yeah, Skyform Shaman is amazing. It becomes a grass flying type, so you will have to be careful about ice type moves, as Shaman will have a four times weakness to ice. But it's, it's that's will completely change from being defensive to offensive, and it's even faster as well. So this Shaman is an absolute beast, and it also gets the ability Serene Grace when in Skyform which boosts the likelihood of additional effects happening when you attack with your moves. So any moves you have that have an additional effect are more likely to happen. Yeah, unfortunately Skyform in this game doesn't have its own dex entry. I know in some games Skyform has its own dex entry. But yeah. With that, we will end the episode here in the next episode. Well, we best see what we should do next. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode. And share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.